everybody, it's just me, the little old turkey from Creating with Love Crafting on YouTube and Creating with Love Crafting Group on Facebook. It's with my trusty sidekick, Jill. So, I'm a turkey that Jill bought in a Michael's grab bag last year, and she put me together along with many more of them. And she said, well, I'll keep these in a drawer until she can repurpose them. So now she's come to a point where she's going to repurpose me. Isn't that cool? We're going to make, we're going to make an apple cider vinegar packet with me on the front as the star. Yay! Okay, Jill, take over. All right. Sorry about being goofy. So, yes, I did get him in a little grab bag last year, and it was wonderful. I bought this for a dollar, and it's 24 sheets, and it is 6 inches by 8 inches. I got this at Walmart. I like the craft paper because it's like nice and sturdy. And then I'm going to pair it up with this piece of paper from my, um, I think I forgot what it's called, but it was from Michael's. It's from Recollection Autumn Dream uh, Paper Pack. It's Autumn Dream. Okay, and I'm going to use this twine. It's Baker's Twine. And I think I got that um, at the Dollar Tree for a three-pack for a dollar. Okay, so now we're going to get moving on. I'm going to put this guy over here for now. You'll see him in the corner. We're going to take this dude. And it needs to be four and a half across. And when we fold it up, it needs to be like four inches up because it has to cover at least up to here. So I'm going to cut it at four and a half across. Because if you don't go four and a half, it will not be wide enough for your drink pack. So we'll save this. Okay. So I'm going to measure it to make sure I did it right. And no, I did not. So that was a mistake. Okay. I have to make sure that I make the marks in the paper. So I just wasted a piece of paper, but I can use it for something else. Okay, so I'm not worried about it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a mark on it. I'm going to measure it and make a mark because I really don't know how to use the rulers on my trimmer. I get confused with it, so <laughs> figures, right? So it has to be four and a half inches across. Oh my goodness. I'm getting so like so I have a little mechanical paper and I'm going to mark it at four and a half. See? You see. You can't see it. So anyways, I gotta leave that out. Mm. I'm confusing myself and flustering myself, and I shouldn't. I should be relaxed, because I'm at home. So now we're going to just slice down the page at four and a half. Remember I said save the strip. You could use it for something else. I have a kitty that <laughs> just jumped up. She scared me. So now... um. This is a 
almost four and a half inches tall. So we have an eight inch long piece of paper. So I think that's a perfect size. We're going to go up, we're gonna leave a little header in the back so that everything in the back can be supported. So now, if you don't have a bone folder, use the end of your scissors to crease it well. See that? So I like, I like to miter the corners because to me it looks a little better. Looks a little more shaven or whatever you wanna call it. So this is like, we're going to go I would say three and a half inches. You know, just one line over three and a half inches, but I don't know what that is. So tall by four and a half wide. Get down, you silly girl. So we're gonna go just a quarter inch. And then, oh boy, up from the top, we're going to go like two, four and a quarter. So we got to bring this mark down here too. Okay, I'm getting flustered. So I'm going to put it in my trimmer. Hopefully it'll come out right. I'm going to go down the whole piece. And I'm going to come over this way. So this should fit the front with having borders. See? Then I'm going to measure the back and I'm going to cut the same way. <laughs> so, like everything is in my way. <laughs> I really don't have a good large area to work with. So, all right, I know this is four and a half, but this is longer than the front. So, this has to go. This is almost four and a half, so this will have to go four inches. So, oh, four by four I need. So we're going to do a four by four. Where? Maybe right here. And then, one, two, three, four. Blink. Emma, get down. You're going to knock everything over, little girl. Okay, so where did I? I lost the first one. There it is. Kitty's going to knock everything over because she's after something on the wall. And um, I am going to come in and just shave this little bit off. That's not really usable. Oops, I moved the camera. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to slice at four inches. So, see how that fits? So, okay, so we have our two pieces. Okay. Now, I have a tape runner that I use 
And this goes quick, so I'm not probably going to be using that for very long. Um, I don't know. It goes too quick. So, and we're going to put this together. And I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just thinking out of the box. I have some scalloped edge scissors that I would like to use. And I'm just going to trim the edges of this paper. Just to make it just a little bit more fancy. See what I mean? And I'm going to do it on both pieces of paper all the way around. You got to make sure that these scissors don't catch because sometimes they do and they bend your paper and they just don't cut right. So you got to be very, very careful with the way you cut. That's why I'm going really slow. So now that you see how I've done this side, I'm going to put it on pause and do the other. Okay, so now I have my two pieces cut out. One for the front and one for the back. I won't need anything up here. Maybe I'll just um, cut away up here. Make it scalloped. Emma, get down. You're going to knock my camera over. And see? Kind of pretty, huh? So, before I do anything, because I almost forgot my other video, I'm going to close the front. Taking care not to really use too much room. And then I need to make sure that I use a little bit of Aileen's Tacky Glow. I'm going to use the other one. I'm going to use the um, Extra Tacky, the, the Turbo, Turbo Tacky. I like this one. So I'm going to use just a little tiny bead. If it'll come out. Behave glue. All right, it's not going to come out because it knows that I need it to work. Where's my X-Acto knife? Oh no. <sighs> Shoot. There, it is clogged. So there we go there. All right, sorry guys. Yeah. Seriously, hold on. Okay, I had to stick my X-Acto knife in and get the clog out, so yeah. I didn't want to put that big of a bead, but it comes out that big, so. All right, so we're going to close it up, and we're going to burnish it shut. Make sure the glue squeezes outward, not inward, please. Because then you won't have room to put the packet inside, see? See how it's lifting up? I'm not being very um, patient with it. It's already giving me problems, so why be patient? <laughs> All right, this one's about to run out, so I'm going to get the other one ready for when it does run out. So I'm going to put the back on. Actually, <laughs> you see this? Baker's twine. It's brown and tan, and I like it. It's pretty. So we're going to triple and or quadruple it up.
going to be pretty. You watch. Put it that way. And Tom the turkey is going to like being tied in. Isn't that funny? Ha, ha, ha. So I think we're just going to double it. And I'm going to go like right across and put a little bit of sticky tape right here. Did you see that? And then I'm going to lay the baker's twine into the sticky tape so it doesn't move. So now I am going to put more sticky tape on the back piece. And sorry about my finger. I did slice it on a razor blade that I didn't know was in one of my containers. So, but it's not bad. Okay, so I know you can't, you cannot see that, can you? But I use that for the glue. So now you can see better, right? So we're just going to lay this in the middle of the craft sheet pouch and burnish. I really don't have a bone folder, so yeah, my scissors work well with burnishing. Just press it in there. Turn it over, and we're going to do the front, okay? This gives it, while we're working on it, it gives it time to dry on the inside. Oops, I wanted to use this up. Sorry. Bring this back. Get my little Tom the turkey. And um, I kind of don't want his little holes there. Stop it. You're knocking things over, little girl. So I'm going to kind of trim them away. And just make it look like. You know, his little body. Right there. I mean, that's not bad, right? See? He's going to be on the front. Isn't he cute? And so for us to have... Uh-oh. I'll bring him up further. We're going to, I think we're going to bring these, if I can't, these ropes down, I'll call them ropes, okay. We're going to bring them down this way so that we can fit him in there and he'll have a bow under him. Now, what am I going to adhere him with? I am going to use my glue gun, which is in back of the camera, warming up. Actually, it's very hot. And I'm going to put him on the front. Oh, wish this would work. See, I have a problem tying on camera. So we're going to put a bow right here. Get out. <laughs> All these scrap pieces. And you know what? We can leave it. We can leave it shabby like. See? A little shabby. But don't leave it long. Make sure it's tight. I'd like my bows a little smaller. 
I don't know, sometimes the sight of them drives me nuts. And it keeps pulling. Whatever. Okay, so we're going to snip off the tails. There's your bow. Oh, come on. Okay, here comes the perfectionist out in me. I'm really getting angry at it. There. How's that, peoples? Okay? No. There. Okay. Gotta get my scissors and stuff out of the way of the project. Now I'm going to place him right here. Right there. It looks bare up here, but it's got to be because there's stuff that's going to go in the packet that's going to cover it. So, I'm going to turn this little guy around. He's got a lot of stuff from my desk now. Ugh. And I'm just going to put some glue on him. Need another stick. Why? Be generous. Gotta get it before it dries. And just press them on. Isn't he adorable? Or you could have left the little finger holes on there. And they could have just taken it off and reused it. You know. It's not going to open. I'm going to open the pocket. Still hot. It should be dry enough with the glue, see? And my apple cider vinegar, or my <laughs> apple cider mix, slips right inside. I take more baker's twine. I'm going to tie a bow onto the spoon, which is going to drive me crazy again. I don't like tying onto the spoons because they flip-flop around, but maybe I'll just put it in this way and tie it on. I'll turn it over and tie it on. No, I want to double it. Oh, I gotta put it on this way because I can't see what I'm doing. If you can see what I'm doing, I'm gonna tie a little bow on it, not too tight, so the people that are using the spoon can get it off. And some people put candy in this. I'm thinking different because there is um, a little blood sugar factor. I'm sorry, this is driving me nuts, hold on. So I have a little treat to put in here, which will make this taste better without adding sugar to it, and it's cinnamon sticks. So I have to open the package because to show you it's brand new, I just bought it today. And I figured, um, some people, yes, I said, put candy, as I said, in the packages. And I really, as a stirrer, well, we could use this as a stirrer. Just slip it right in. It's rustic. It tastes good, and it smells good. Now, don't forget, when you're giving this away to... Wrap it up in some kind of a cellophane bag, which I don't have right now. And when I do get them, I will start showing you how to do that too. So I hope you like this tutorial. And if you do, um, push the f thumbs up for like. And then please subscribe. And then I'm asking you to push the bell so that you can get more notifications of new videos that I've uploaded and have a blessed day and God bless you all and keep creating with love.